Hello and welcome back to Photonic Luminescence. Today I want to show you a unique light bulb and I'm going to talk about this light bulb. So let's get started. First I will explain the difference between cold cathode, what which lab is, and hot cathode. Now a hot cathode, so a C-film or fluorescent, has two filaments. When they heat up, they use electrons, which helps create the plasma channel, and after that, the resistance overall decreases, so there is no need to maintain the filaments on, so they turn off. This is why it's, the system is called preheat. But a cold cathode is more like this. It has a tube, and it has two electrodes and will, will cut out and when you apply voltage the it doesn't preheat or anything it just starts that way because of the high voltage and that's pretty much how this works so that means that also this small neon over here is also a cold cathode now i'm going to start with the specifications and the features of this light bulb so let's see. Uh, first of all, not really that known, but I don't know. Couldn't really find that much of it, but anyway. Energy saving CCFL lamp wall. CCFL is its short version, and they just, instead of actually going for the L and letting. Okay, lamp. Anyway, 5 watts E27 daylight color. 5 watts equals E. Um, 23 watts, 20% 20 usage of the versus 100% in mechanism would use, and 20,000 hours, which, let me tell you, that is not a bad lifetime or lifespan of this light bulb. I'm going to unpack it. And here we have the bulb. We have a plastic envelope, the filament like tube, pretty thin, and an E27 base with a, this blue insulator. Okay, I'm going to screw the bulb in, and we're going to see how much wattage this really uses. Okay, now I made it darker in my room, and I'm going to switch the lamp on. Again, no pre, that means we don't see any blinking actually, that is pretty interesting. I really need to say. Okay, now we have the light bulb. And oh well, if you actually use it a bit more, there's really no actual need of warming up. But if you kind of leave it somewhere that you don't really visit that often, it might still need a bit of preheat. But anyway, this is a moon white color I actually kind of see. I actually really like it. It says here daylight, so I would say this is, and I like it, not a bad color whatsoever. I like it, really, really awesome. Okay, I, yes, this has warmed up a little bit. Okay, pretty interesting. And the reason why they were probably not really all that often used in manufacture is because the brightness is not all that well bright. And this is the problem. I didn't. I don't think cold cathode goes over 10 watts. And I didn't show you, but its energy efficiency is C. That's as efficient as mercury self balanced mercury vapors. But the problem is, as I said, is it's just simply the brightness and to actually replace an incandescent light bulb. Or something similar this is just not bright though for lamps reading lamps and so this is actually pretty great because there you don't really want or need all that much and they're probably one of the bulbs that you anyway don't really use it often and when you do you really don't just want all that much brightness and if I like, just cover this light bulb it does a pretty well job at making light so no ponds in here, pretty nice color, 
just the brightness is just it can't replace a normal light with just maybe a lamp that works in an enclosed reading lamp maybe but not not really as to replace a room light so what I really just want to say is that this light bulb isn't bad yes maybe its energy efficiency isn't maybe that great but the technology in this way is still pretty cool kind of I, I don't know I like it the way it's thing and still works and really trippy kind of the way you I look, oh, a CFL, fake and a thin, hmm, that's interesting. And they are also stretched one, so yes. But now, if you liked the bulb and the, this technology called cafe, give this video a like. And subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified whenever I make a new video about an uh, interesting light bulb. Also, if you have any questions that I have not covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer. This was it from my side, see you in the next video, goodbye.